Hi, my darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Capricorns, and this is gonna be for the week of the 20th through the 26th of August. I will be using my Affirmators Tarot deck. To clarify, I'll be using my Radiant Rider Weight Tarot, and then I will pull you a card or two from my Energy Oracle deck. So, Capricorn, let's see what messages we have for you. So Capricorn, this is going to be for you. The world, something came full circle. You achieved something not too long ago. The Knight of Pentacles, did it have something to do with finances? The Eight of Pentacles, you're working very hard on something or you're getting yourself out of some financial constraints. Because if you look at this card, it's like kicking out of something, you know. So whatever it was that you were feeling, if you were feeling a little off balance financially, I think that feeling is over. The Page of Cups, you've become very creative and you need to start using your intuition because you do have that gift. The Nine of Swords, you got little negative emotions tying, tying you up. But that doesn't say that you, you're going to be stuck there, you know what I mean? It's just a little negativity and that's because you feel a little upside down emotionally. That's the four of cups. You may have a few regrets, but hey, who doesn't? You know what I'm saying? And just don't beat yourself up. Speak to yourself the way you would like others to speak to you, and you'll see something magical happen in your life. The two of cups, this unified love. The ten of cups, happy family. But the hanged man, you're at a standstill, and you feel a little stuck. Why is that? What's going on? like you can't move left or right. I mean, aside from that negative emotion there and feeling a little upside down emotionally, maybe that's why you're stuck. But let's clarify. Wait. On top of the world, we got the hanged man. So you something you accomplished, you successfully accomplished it, but for some reason it got you feeling kind of stagnant. You got the hanged man, you got the seven of wands, and you got the three of cups. Now it does look like you are above your challenges. So ma no matter what happened or whatever is holding you, keeping you at a standstill, it's going to be gone in no time. You're going to be above your challenges or you're facing them head on. And there's going to be celebration or maybe there was some kind of celebration, you and your friends. Then you got the Knight of Pentacles here. On top of the Knight of Pentacles, you got the Queen of Cups, you got the High Priestess, and you got the Five of Cups. So what are you feeling emotional about? You need to start listening to yourself. Start listening to you. That voice, you know, sometimes there's like... A conversation in the sense, no, you should do this, yeah, you should do it, or you feel it. Start listening to yourself. You need to start using your intuition. You are the high priestess. Maybe a little emotional right now because you not, might not be seeing things too clear, but you feel a little upside down emotionally. I got the five of cups here. You feel empty. Don't know what happened, but this is past energy, so it's not going to hang around. Now, the queen of cups could also be an energy in your environment. This could be... Uh, 
a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. But I don't feel this is talking about this energy. This is saying that you have the gift of intuition. And you're feeling extremely emotional right now. Or not too long ago. So on top of the Eight of Pentacles, whatever it is that you're working on, I mean, it seems like something from the past. I got the Six of Cups, the World, and the Star. So um, something from the past, um, I don't know what it is that you're thinking about. I don't know if that's why you feel upside down emotionally. Um, the World, something came full circle for you. The World was the first card. And then you got the Star. You need to keep the face and hold on to that hope and keep your eye on that prize. Don't you let go of it, okay? Life has its ups and downs, and it's okay to be emotional sometimes. Just don't be emotional all the time, okay? Rain that in. So you got the Six of Cups. Maybe you think you're something about, oh, no. Let's see. Come on now, focus. Okay, the Six of Cups, the world, and the, and the star card. Something from the past? I don't know. But whatever it is, it's over. It's done. And you got the Page of Cups here. You need to start using your intuition. Oh, somebody's bringing you some gifts, some offers here. You got the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, maybe some money coming in. And you got some energy, the Knight of Wands. You got some passionate energy coming in towards you. I wouldn't say in a bad way. And I don't know why my birds are freaking out now, you know? But anyway, they were quiet. But there's something coming into you. You got the Knight of Cups, you got the Knight of Pentacles, and you got the Knight of Wands. This is some energy you're feeling. I think you might be feeling all these energies. Loving and you make your money and you got a routine done and you're feeling passionate about something. And then you got the Nine of Swords. Why you got and the Nine of Swords on top of the Nine of Swords? Why are you so tied up? Why are you in your head? Why are you doing this to yourself? You got the emperor. Um, now this could be an energy in your environment. Maybe this is someone that you can talk to. Um, this could be an Aries. This is like a father figure though. This is not a, nothing romantic. Um, and the eight of cups. I don't know what it is, but you're thinking about walking away from something. Maybe some project or something. Maybe that's what's keeping you up. Let's keep going. So we got the Nine of Cups on top of the Nine of Cups. We got the Emperor and we got the Eight of Cups. So like I said, that could be an energy. And then you got the Four of Cups here. You feel a little upside down. But you got the Three of Pentacles. You got the Three of, the three of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles... Is about the universe building something for you. And the Three of Swords is about a broken heart. I don't know why you have a broken heart. And a lot of times when this card shows up, it means that someone else is involved. Or maybe there was someone else involved. And that other person could have been... You? <laughs> oh my. King of Pentacles. That would say that would be you, um, Capricorn. Um... But not necessarily then. Let's see here. You're upside down. So the three of pentacles, the universe is building something for you. Some kind of teamwork, collaboration or something. Maybe you're working, walking. Thinking of walking towards that. But you're not seeing things too clearly. We got, because for some reason you got a broken heart. And the king of pentacles, you're stable. And you're grounded and you have your own. And I would say that's you too, Capricorn. You're worried about something. I don't know. It seems like your heart broken, but then it's not broken. And then here you go again. The Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Devil. This is on top of your unified love. So the Queen of Pentacles, I would say, is you. The money manager, 
the Ace of Pentacles, maybe there is a new financial beginning somewhere for you, maybe a promotion, maybe a whole new job or something. But you need to really think about it because it might not be the healthiest thing for you. I got the devil on top of this and the devil is about negative emotion. Um, it could be greed, lust, um, it could be addictions, it could be anything that's negative within your environment. It could be an abusive relationship or something. But just keep an eye on whatever this opportunity is, be careful. All right. You got the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and you got the Devil. It's totally up to you, though, what you do. All right. These cards aren't etched in stone. You have free will, and it's totally up to you. So the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Devil. Then you got the Ten of Cups. On top of the Ten of Cups, you got the Eight of Wands. You got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Swords. So there's something coming towards you, some kind of ending or something. I don't know, but something coming very fast. See, I don't understand this because you got the Ten of Cups here. Happiness is coming towards you, okay? Family, happiness, all those good things. But then you got the Ten of Swords. Like the happiness is like just done. It's like there and then it's just gone. Or is this... Ten of Swords, something that you're hanging on to from the past. Is that why the devil is showing up? Because a lot of times we think we've healed from the past and we have not healed from the past. And we bring that past forward here. And there's no moving forward when that past is tagging along. You ain't moving nowhere. You might be physically moving, but you're not moving anywhere. So you need to probably address whatever it is in your past that had you feeling broken. So you got the Eight of Wands, the Happy Family, the Ten of Cups, because it's there. But you're hanging on to some kind of pain there, the Ten of Swords. And you need to get rid of that in your environment, okay? Whatever negativity, that's why you're stagnant. On top of the Hangman, you got the Page of Pentacles, you got the Seven of Cups, and you got the Eight of Pentacles. You got the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. So you might be doing some thinking and, and deep thought, manifesting some things, you know, starting to feel better, trying to get out of this funk that you're in, you know, with the Ten of Swords holding on to that past. You don't want to do that. And then you're going to start seeing your choices. You got the Seven of Cups, and you got a lot of choices. And you're working pretty hard on them, Okay. You're working pretty hard. But if a financial opportunity, I said, comes towards you, just, just be careful, okay? Um, I don't know why the devil would be on top of that. I don't know if it's, you know, if it's something to do with gambling. Because, like I said, it could be addiction. And there's no judgment here or anything, you know? But I think you're aware of whatever that energy is around you. So, let's see. Hostilities and the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. So let's see. Hostilities. Your defenses are up and you got some aggressive energy around you. Or in you, which one is it? Is that why the devil is showing up here? <laughs> this card shows a man raising his sword in readiness to do battle. When it comes upright, it reveals a situation where hostilities towards you are about to be or already being engaged. The aggressive energy may be verbal or emotional with someone in your environment being excessively critical, demanding or hurtful. In a work or social situation, there may be backstabbing or out-and-out -out slander going on. This is, a, this is different from the deceit card because the hostile, the hostile energies are more apparent and more overt. In fact, you may have been living with them for some time. But whether this is new or old energy, now is the time to regain control. 
allowing dishonoring treatment from others in an op is an open invitation to the universe to send you more. Pay attention to that, okay? It may feel risky, but you need to have the courage to stand up for yourself now and always. The affirmation for this card is, I am receiving the peaceful, harmonious treatment I deserve in my life. I set boundaries, make reasonable requests, and make my expectation clear. That was card 26, hostilities. So then we had 38, the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Love, compassion, and self-acceptance. Raphael extends a beautiful green energy surrounded by gentle waves of pink in your heart center. This card upright indicates that you now have the greater readiness to receive love from others as well as from yourself. It could also indicate that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart is taking place. The tender vibrations of Raphael remind you to encourage yourself with the compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others. Know that as you do, the light of your heart center will shine with an irresistible beauty and the universe will send people and situations that cause your sense of love and support to grow and grow. The affirmation for this card is, my heart center, my fourth chakra, is open to its perfect, healthy, and joyful state. The energy of love flows through me now. I live in love. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves, okay? Everything's fine. You know that. Bye.